that false prophet shall be put to death. The false prophet and the dreamer of dreams shall be put to death. All false prophets, according to the Bible, shall be put to death. I'm asking the question, how did Paul end his life? What was the end of Paul? Paul was beheaded, cut into pieces. Where? In Rome, at the time of Emperor Nero. He was beheaded and cut into pieces. In the Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 26, verse 14 said, The false prophet and a dreamer of dreams shall be put to death. How was Peter killed? Peter was hung on the cross upside down. False prophets. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 21, verse 22, all the way to 24. It says, if a man commits a crime and you hang him on the cross, you shall by no means bury him that same day. For whosoever is hung on the cross is an accursed of God. May the curse of God be upon him. Do you believe Christ died on the cross? Therefore, he's a curse of God. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. The human man repelled that idea that a human being could become a God and then die again. I'm asking you a question. I want you, the audience, to transpose yourself back into the era of Mary, 2009 years ago. I want you to put yourself in that stage. Imagine you were there when Mary was having a baby, and you were a nurse, and you're supposed to help Mary. And Mary, in the pain of giving birth, baby Jesus starts coming out, and you help her to be a nurse to bring him out. That puny little baby with blood and mire and umbilical cord, helpless baby, was your God, your Allah, your Jehovah Witness. Stuck for Allah. I stuck for Allah. The human man repelled that idea that a baby helpless could be a God. You think about it this. Does it befit God? It doesn't befit God. That is what we are talking about. That God cannot be a human being. He's beyond human. Did he die on the cross? You say he died on the cross. Did he die on the cross? You said he died on the cross. But we see in the book of uh, 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 Hebrew, the book of Hebrews, chapter 5, verse 7, talking about whether Christ died on the cross or not. Please, I want you to listen to what the Bible said about whether Christ died on the cross or did not die on the cross. The book of Hebrew, chapter 5, verse 7, it reads, Who in the days of his flesh... Referring to Jesus, at the time that he was in flesh, walking flesh and bone, he offered up prayers and supplication and crying and tears to the only one who can save him from death, and he was heard. This verse tells us that Jesus Christ did not die on the cross. Who in the days of his flesh, who? Jesus, he offered up prayers and supplication and tears and crying to the only one God, who can save him from death, and he was heard. Heard from what? The prayer that he gave in the book of Luke, Matthew, which I quoted, that he was falling down. He doesn't want to die. But according to you, Jesus Christ and God have made an agreement that 7,000 years ago after Adam, Christ will come and die for mankind. But as you can see on the cross, what did he say? Eloi, Eloi, lama shabaktani. In Hebrew, in Arabic, Allah, Allah, lama taraktani. My God, my God, why do you forsake me? He's crying. He's supposed to have died willingly, according to the Christians. To die willingly for mankind. But he was on the cross crying, Eloi, Eloi, Lama Shabaktani. Somebody else was on the cross. The Quran said, Wama kataluhu, wama salabuhu. They did not kill him. They did not crucify him. Walakin, shubbiha lahum. Wa inna allazi nakhtalafu fihi lafi shakim minhum, ma lakum bihi min ilim, illa tiba azzan. Wama kataluhu yakina, bal rafa'ahu allahu ilayhi. They did not kill him, and they did not crucify him. But it was made to appear to them so. What was made to appear to them? The fact that he died on the cross. Yes, someone was hung on the cross that day in the, on Calvary cross. Someone was hung on the cross in Golgotha. Someone was indeed hung on the cross, but that was not Jesus. So Allah said, وَإِنَّ فِي شَكِّ مِنْهُمْ Those who are involved about the case of death of Jesus, they don't have the exact knowledge of what happened to them. Why? Because they follow conjecture, guesswork, fiction. They think that's what happened. They were not there. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, none of them saw the crucifixion of Christ. They were not there. Because the book of Mark, chapter 14, verse 50, said, During the most critical time of the life of Christ, all his disciples forsook him and fled. 
they ran away at the time that they came to arrest him. Mark said, during the most critical time of the life of Christ, all his disciples, all means all, none of them saw what happened. All forsook him and fled. Where did they go? They went to upper room. They went to a place called upper room. That is where they used to meet. And that's where the disciples went and hide. None of them saw what happened in the cross. So the Quran said, Those who are involved about his death, they don't have the knowledge of what happened. Because Mark said they all forsook him and fled. They follow conjecture. Guesswork. That's what happened. I think so. It's a, that's why you find contradiction. Today, the question is, is the Bible the word of God? I would have discussed that issue, but this is not the issue. I would have proved 100% that the Bible has been mutilated. Mutilated beyond recognition. It's been changed. Every, I have 28 Bibles in my house. I have 28 Bibles in my house. None is the same. Billahi al-Azim, none is the same. Different books. The, Roman, the New International Version, the Revised Standard Version, the Mormon Version, the Lutheran Version. You think it's the same, it's a holy book, but it is not the same by God. Because he left, he left Catholic and came to Protestant, <laughs> meaning they have different Bible. You should be ashamed of yourself. So, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I want you to listen. Keep the emotion to the end. This is a serious issue. My salvation is hung on the cross of Jesus. If my salvation is on his cross, Jesus Christ has to make an explicit statement that, look, I am coming to die for you. He never made such a statement. It was written about him more than 300 years after him. Who wrote the book of Matthew? He ask him, he will say Matthew wrote it. Matthew did not write the book of Matthew, which you quoted from. How do I know? The book of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 9. Listen to what happened. It says, while he, Jesus, was going out on the way, he saw a man sitting on a tax collector's table, and Jesus said, follow him. And Matthew rose and followed him. Did Matthew wrote this book? Matthew did not write this book. Someone else was writing. If Matthew wrote it, it would have been while Jesus Christ was walking on the way, he saw me sitting down, and he said, follow me, and I rose and followed him. But this one, <laughs> somebody else is writing these books. I'm telling you. So, Mr. Lazaro, I hope next time you bring your guru, your pastor, your big man, so he could talk to me. But it looks like I'm fighting with my cousin, fighting with the kid. That's how it looks like now. I'm not feeling it. You didn't give me anything. 30 minutes wasted for nothing. Talk about the issue. The issue is salvation through Jesus, through the Bible, or through the Quran. And you've never taught these subjects. All you do is to will, quote some Buhari, somewhere, you know, some books. Talk to me about salvation. But I'm giving you quotation. I'm proving from your book that Christ did not die on the cross. And the evidence is so clear. But the books as it is, it's been changed. Where? In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 8. It says, do you think that we have the law of Moses in our hand? No. The pen of those who write the Bible have turned it into a lie. I didn't say this, why it's in your book. Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 8. I repeat. Jeremiah 24, 24. Jeremiah 8, 8. The New International Version said, Think not that we have the law of Moses and the prophet in our hands still. Behold, the pen of the scribe have turned the Bible in vain. They turn it in vain. And the Quran confirmed. They turned it in vain. Woe unto those who write the books with their own hand. And then they say it's from Allah. So that they will sell it and make some benefit out of it. Woe to the hand that writes it and woe to the benefit they make out of it. Bas. 